Hello again. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to recode a continuous variable into a factor, into a categorical variable. We will practice on the same data frame, demo, that contains information about a group of car owners. We want to create a categorical variable as follows. The subjects with an income under 200 will belong to a category called low income, and the subjects with the income of 200 and more will belong to another category called high income. A new variable, INCAT, income category, will be created. So, this new variable, INCAT, will be defined as follows. If the variable income is lower than 200, the group will be called low income, and if the variable income is higher than 200 or equal to 200, the group of the INCAT variable will be called high income. Let's run all of this and see what happens. Okay, as you can notice here, the new variable INCAT was added and it has two categories, low income and high income. For example, this subject is a high income subject because it has an income of 544, so it's higher than 200. Now we want to create three group, three groups by the variable income. A low income group under 150, a medium income group between 150 and 300, and a high income group with 300 and more in income. So we have two cut points, 150 and 300. A new variable, INCAT2, will be created, this time using another function, cut. So in this new function, cut, uh, we have to define, first of all, the variable, the initial variable, income, and then we have to specify the cut points using the, the option breaks with the C function. Here we indicate the lower and upper limit, minus infinity and plus infinity, and between them our cut points 150 and 300. So, of course, we have three groups. Minus, infin minus infinity, sorry, 150, 150, 300, and 300 plus, plus infinity, 300 and more. And then, using the option labels, we define the names of the three groups. Low income, medium income, and high income. These three uh, names must be put in the C function, the concatenate function. Okay, let's run this to create the new variable in cat2. And now let's see again our data frame demo. You can notice here the variable in cat2, which has three categories, low income, medium income, and high income. Please keep in mind that, by default, the ranges are open to the left and close to the right, namely, minus infinity 150, close here, to the right, 150, 300, close here, to the right, and 300 plus infinity. To get it conversely, you can use the option right equal to false. You can add this option in the cut function here. So, let's run it to create the new variable in cat2. Now, the groups are the same, of course, low income, high income, and medium income, but the ranges are conversely. 
close to the left and open to the right. That's all for that. Thank you.